Now I'm joined here by Longford Town's goalkeeper Lee Stacey. Lee, a 2 0 loss to Shells tonight in our own ground. You must be a bit disappointed. Yeah, it's disappointing, obviously. Um, I think it's only our second defeat here. We've won every other game since. But they've had the time going on for promotion. They've put a lot of money in behind them, so I think overall they, they probably deserve it tonight. They um, had a game plan they stuck with. I think they were deserved winners. Two very soft goals from our defence, really. You know, the first goal, I don't know how, what your angle was, but there was a major call for offside from our defenders. But Fernandez got in and there was nothing you could do yourself. It was one on one. But, you know, goals like that just seemed to cost us. And then in the second half, you know, the, the free kick was taken quick and then brought back. And then they took their time with it. And we were just caught off guard again with Fernandez down the wing and it was a tap in for, for Morehouse. So, you know, things like that just seemed to cost us. What do you think went wrong for us tonight? I think um, obviously Shell's got the, the fourth goal and I was just surprised that Fernandez with the space he was actually in. So it would be interesting to see it back. Um, and then once Shell's went up, we know it was going to be tough. But they had been, they had been in front of the last week and conceded late, so I was thinking we're still in it. And then we just switched off for the, the second goal. And like I've got, I've got an arm and it's gone under. It just, it just wasn't a bit, I don't think. For me. You know, we look ahead to next week before we concentrate in the league. We're away to Bowles, you know, that's going to be a major game. People will probably think who can we rest and all, but you know, Bowles had a 10-1 win last night and they're on form, you know, we don't really want to rest anybody. And again, the club want the cup run as well, having a good history with it. How do you feel yourself going into that match at Daily Mount? You know, these are the types of games we want to be playing. Yeah, it's a great time. We're in a great position. Like, we, we have nothing to lose going to that cup, you know. Obviously, Bowles had a good win last night, but it won't be anything like that next week. But overall, like, where we are in the league, playoff was, was the main aim and we're still right up there so we'll be positive enough, we'll, we'll take a lot from this game and hopefully the next few weeks will be telling for us. We travelled to Wexford then the week after against Bowes, you know we've beaten Wexford twice already this year, we'll be very confident going down there for a result. Yeah well Wexford will get us two tough games, obviously down there in the power of rain and mad winds we are uh, one nil down, we got two late goals but even at home we, we left their league at eight and we know they've lost a couple of players but We'd be just trying to bounce back in the league anyway, hopefully we a good, good cup result the week before. So it's um it's still lots to play for our teams in the playoffs, so hopefully um, we can we can get the points on the board. Just back to tonight with our biggest crowd of the season, over one thousand one hundred people here. You're probably a little bit disappointed we ended up losing on the night because you know we wanted the fans to keep coming every week and come back and support us. Yeah, I think um obviously that's the, the way we play tonight isn't a, a proper indication of what we can do. Um, I think Shell just set up to stop Grimesy and then will get the ball and unfortunately we just couldn't get the ball them. But I think if we come back for the next game in numbers they'll see exactly uh, exactly how we can play.